Wow. Oh my God, that's cold. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to go do some kind of fun today. Pretty fun, I would say. Uh, but first, I need to go up here and get something to eat. I'm gonna go get some lunch and then uh, get some bottled water, a couple of uh, essential supplies, and then we are going to be heading off to the mountains. Oh, crap. We are gonna take the Zizzo on its first long, long bike ride. Aside from that, we're gonna be taking the Zizzo off-road. And we're gonna see how this thing handles on the gravel and rail trails. Hopefully it does pretty good. Damn bags. That's the only problem with coming out on Sunday. There's so many people out. And a lot of idiots. I had to add that in. Well, we're leaving the city and we're heading out to the mountains. So hopefully we get there here shortly. All right, guys. We're here on the Platte River Greenway. Um, found this nice little shade spot right by the river. We're gonna sit down for a few minutes, eat some lunch, um, drink some water. This, this rig is heavy. It's real heavy. I made a mistake. I was trying to keep up with some of these carbon guys. It ain't gonna happen on this bike. All right, what do we get here? It's all vegan, by the way. All fake meats, french fries. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. So I'm gonna drink this, eat this, and we'll be back on the road again. A few moments later. Oh man, I should not have ate so much. <laughs> I am stuffed. I'm not gonna be able to be good riding the bike, that's for sure. Well, we gotta get back on the bike regardless of whether I feel like it or not. Man, I feel like taking a nap after that meal, whoa.
work. This is more messed up than I remember. Jesus. You know what that comes from? It comes from these douchebags riding horses on the uh, trails right after it rains. A lot of people that have mountain bikes are not allowed to ride on the trails when it's really muddy because you basically destroy the trail. That's what they did there. I'm not supposed to be doing that. Now we're gonna do some off-road riding. We're gonna scout out some pretty cool campsites, hopefully. We'll go up into the mountains. The mountains are that way. We'll go up there here in a minute. That rain is hard, man. Uh. There's two cyclists that were a ways behind me. I thought that they were probably gonna come take shelter because these like uh, summer storms up here in the mountains, they're not like a little bitty sprinkles, okay? If it was a little bitty sprinkles, I would've just kept going. They turn into monsoons really freaking quick. And uh, yeah, they're probably like, ah! <laughs> You gotta wait till they blow over. They pass by and then you can continue riding. It's gonna be awful muddy though. But you know, hey, it's a nice place. Plus that air feels so cool. It feels like it's uh, 60 degree weather. Wow. Oh my God, that's cold. <laughs> Those cyclists, man, they should have stopped and took refuge. You know, if I can find a camping spot like up here in the mountains somewhere, um, I'll come back up here this weekend. In fact, we're gonna check around because I really want to find a cool camping spot. And we may take the Zizzo Forte, we may not. Um, like I said, I could pack a bunch of stuff on the back and I could go right into the mountains and just have a good time. 
except for when it rains like this. Then you're stuck in a uh, little shelter city here. But that cool air feels really good after a really hot, brutal ride up here. Well, it looks like the rain died down, guys. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't rain again. I'm gonna go ahead and trudge up further. Ooh, that air is real nippy now. Once I uh, get cranking here, it'll probably feel better. I wanna find some good camp spots. I would love to camp like right at the top right there. It's about a thousand feet up, it looks like. Not quite sure, maybe even more than that. And these are only the foothills. But I'm not sure where to camp up here. We might go to another uh, another mountain area next weekend if we don't find something this weekend. There's supposed to be some campsites up that way, but I'm not sure. It says open open to camping right here. We're right here. So we came all the way from the start here, all the way to here. Okay, it says open to camping and open to fires right here. The public dam, which is right over there. Yeah, we may be able to camp up here. Just up that way, there's a trail that gets pretty rough. And I'm not sure if I can bring the Zizzo Forte up there because it gets kind of, it, it's not like this where it's just dirt. It's, uh, it's really, really rocky, really, really rocky. So I might bring the Zizzo Liberté with more mountain bike tires and just wear a backpack. I'm not sure yet. I think definitely we'll come up here next weekend and we'll camp. And the reason why I wanna come up here and camp next weekend, because this is a pretty um, easy area to get to. And I want to um, give my camping equipment a good test run before I start using it in more extreme places, because we're gonna take a bus out west and we're going to go to different parts of Colorado. We're gonna do some mountain biking. We're gonna do some cycle touring. We're gonna to be doing a lot here in the next month or so especially during the month of August when it gets really, really hot. And I want to give my camping equipment a good, good test run and make sure everything is fine. Before I get on one of these long bicycle tours, you know, you don't want to get way away from home and then have a bunch of problems, especially with camping gear. Yeah, I definitely am going to work on that. So we'll get all that taken care of this week. We're gonna be going up to Boulder tomorrow, but we're gonna definitely uh, take care. I'm gonna show you all my camping gear, the things I use in extreme weather, the things I use during the winter time because I do a lot of winter camping as well. So yeah, I'm gonna show you everything that I use this next week, but for the most part, we're gonna get everything ready and we're going to head up to the mountains up here and we're gonna go camping next weekend. Well, it's 7.43, it's gonna be getting dark pretty soon. I wanna get out of the mountains before it gets dark because it's gonna be dark going home. So I'm gonna get out of the mountains. We're gonna hightail it down. Um, I just wanted to come up here and figure out if there is camping areas up here so that I can camp in this area first because I know this area really, really well. And if I come up here, I can camp. I didn't know if you could camp or not. I never paid attention, but I did a lot of mountain biking up here, did a lot of gravel riding. So. 
yeah i knew you could do that but i didn't know you could camp so i wanted to come up here and check because i knew that there was placards that told you what you could and couldn't do so yeah um i thought it was a good ride the zizzo did great guys the zizzo did perfectly i'm i'm really happy with it and it doesn't even have the mountain bike tires it has the schwabby marathons on it so that is awesome i mean I, I didn't slip around at all with these tires i think they did very good well let's hightail it down because it's getting late Made it back home, guys. Um, whew, the Zizzo did remarkably well on the dirt roads. But actually, I'm surprised that the bike isn't dirtier than this, considering the fact that when it starts to rain on a dirt road, it can get quite messy. <laughs> so it's, it's not bad. Is it a full-on gravel bike? No. But will it do well on the dirt roads? Sure. I didn't slip around once. Not on all the gravel riding I did, not on all the dirt riding I did. It actually performed really, really well with the Schwalbe Marathon tires. The Schwalbe Marathons are a good compromise because they do work well on the dirt roads, but they also work well on the pavement. Whereas those two inch wide tires that were on the Zizzo to begin with, they work well on the gravel and the loose stuff, but they don't work so well on the pavement. So I think uh, the Schwalbe Marathons will do good. This bike is definitely good for taking up to the mountains and going camping with. And basically the Zizzo Forte is my utility bike anyways. But yeah, I was rather impressed with it. So anyways, it's getting late and I definitely need to uh, wrap the video up. So if you guys have any comments or questions, leave it down in the comment and question section. Slap a like on the video if you like it, guys. And I will talk with you on the next one. Bye-bye.